we're heading to the front door because it is Sunday and it's time to go running. Houston, what are you doing? He's running with that. Starting off the morning right. I hope you have a blessed day today. Let's go. <laughs> Good morning, Lucky. Good morning, baby girl. It feels weird calling you Lucky. Well, don't call me that. Call me Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to your viewers. What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? You getting tired already? Oh, okay. Lucky makes me wait all the way till we get to the lake till we start running because then we get tired easy or whatever and since he's the master at this running the lake situation thing <laughs> you know you gotta listen to him because he's been doing it all year yeah she yesterday she tried to run she's trying to start running right when she left the house i told you you're gonna be tired by the time you get to the lake and sure enough she wasn't able to run around the whole lake i did good though you can't lie we're leaving our child behind come on no soldier gets left behind. You tired? Uh, no. You tired? Yeah. Come on, we got a long way to go. <laughs> we just got here. I'm about to have to go around this whole lake. You ready, Houston? There you go. All right, now let's go run. Ready? One. Two, three, go. Go, Houston. Go, Houston. Go, go, go. Go, oh, Houston. Oh, it's a pink bird. I never seen a pink one over here. Oh. That was a pretty bird. Let's go. Ready? Set. Go, Houston. Go, go. He's so cute. I'm gonna just let him go so I can have some space in between so I can actually jog. Baby Rose chilling. Uh, let's go. Well, I couldn't get a full run in today because I had to keep stopping and coming back for Houston and grab the stroller. She had to take the baby out the stroller because the baby was crying. But it's all good. You gotta get up early, right? And put your day into motion. Change those events in your day by getting up early and doing something positive. Someone fell asleep. You're patting daddy's back? About to get home and freshen up, get ready for church. Oh, you woke up. He's so cute. And we're out. We got all freshened up. We jumped down fresh. How do you say it? Jump down fresh. <laughs> Jump down flat. Hold up, baby. And um, we're a little too early. So we're gonna grab a bite real quick and then we're gonna head to church, get wrapped church. We're gonna be there at 10 a.m. Houston. What is it? Oh, Houston. We're at the car wash, the drive through car wash. <laughs> oh, it's coming, Houston. Coming. Um, in mine. Shakama. Shakama. <laughs> Just kidding. Baby Ro is in here. Um, he hates being in the car seat. Doesn't like to be in the stroller. 
doesn't like to be on his bed. He don't like to be nowhere but in your arms. Yeah. He likes to be carried. Houston is like so attached to this little doggy stuffed animal. It's the cutest thing ever. He's my dog. <laughs> He's my dog. No, mine. Let me help you. Let me get a grande cat, uh, a tall. A tall. I'm sorry, a tall. <laughs> And then what do you want? Uh, no. Java chip. A Java chip, grande. Grande Java chip. And I want a, a iced tea lemonade. Which lemonade? Which tea would you like? Black tea. And would you like it sweetened? Yes. What size? Grande. Will I complete your order? Yep. Thirteen ninety one will be in stock. Thank you. Thank you, babe. You're welcome, familia. Huh? It's permanent. Yeah, I got tired of losing them grills. Alright. Thank you, my love. Oh, my baby love. Houston, is it good? Okay. Everybody woke up, came to church this morning. A couple cars in the parking lot. Just pulled up. Waiting on Brother Coast. It feels so weird, um, riding in the back. Uh, no. <laughs> I guess I can hop in the front. Let's go. Cheers, babe. Lucky forgot to give me my morning kiss today, so give me one. <laughs> Every morning, he literally comes around the corner of our bed and he kisses me on the forehead. That's because she'd be asleep and I'd be awake early in the morning, so I'd go over there and kiss her good morning. Before he gets as his I day should, started. As I'm supposed to. And I wake up and go pray first thing in the morning. You know, if the devil got the head of the household, the man is the head of the household. So if the enemy has control over the man, he has control of the whole family and the whole house. Since the man is the head of the household, it is his duty to be right with God because we are in a spiritual warfare every day. It's a battle. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I get up early in the morning and I go pray and make sure I'm right with God. So my family will be protected. Uh oh. Hello, Houston got whipped cream on his hands. Let me get him out. Go ahead. Y'all ready to get up? We're like 15 minutes early. Okay, come on. We were really supposed to wait for Coach to get here, but... Yeah, he's taking too long. Okay, <laughs> uh, I guess let's go. Houston, look. Look who just pulled up. Coach. Go see Coach. Come on. Go say hi to Coach. Come this way. Oh, look at my boy Coach. <laughs> Hi. How you doing? I'm good. <laughs> Feeling good. Like I should. <laughs> Ladies, Coast becoming a, a church man. Single and bilingual, ready to mingle. Looking spiffy, walking up to the church house. Glad you could join us, Coast. So I'm super ready to hear what Pastor Juan has going on when he's going to be preaching today. I'm pretty sure he's going to be on fire. Go. Hey, Coast, turn around. Hey. <laughs> Come on, Houston. Let me help. Oh, you got it. Get it, Houston, get it. <laughs> okay, come on. Hi, good morning. Bye. Look what we got right here. Hey, I thought I saw a thing where y'all were like, 
uh, taking the drive. Y'all like booked it somewhere. Where? Oh, no, I was going to pick it up. Oh, God, I said, man, they done said, yo, we out. Leave us alone. Hey. I like your drip. Hey, you know. Turn around, turn around real quick. Hey, 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 hey. 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 You, better, you better preach today, okay? Yes, I am. Come on, you sit. What's going on, you sit? How you doing? You doing I'm okay? I'm fine, yeah. Awesome. What's up, man? How you doing? always looking short, baby. Hey, that's, I like it. Today about heaven's wisdom for some reason you keep winding up in the same spot I'm just saying I went through the same relationship over and over over and over over and over and I still always it was everybody else's fault and I always wound up like why did that happen mm -hmm. if she would have just if he would have just no no how about if you would have just preach Hmm. Amen, because obviously heavenly wisdom always edifies, builds up, and takes you to places in your destiny and all these great things. Yet, if, if we're drinking from a different well, we're going to wind up in other places. And they ain't going to be heavenly. Amen? I'm saying I have some tough times. I do. Come on. I'm, I'm, I got skin. You know what I'm saying? I, I have some tough times. Sometimes I want to throw chop people. I'm just being real. <laughs> The top of that list is my kids sometimes. Come on, amen. Amen. But I love them. He's good. And because of the cross I died amen. myself. So that he may live. Yeah. And I usually and I get a different result. If I throw child, I, mean, I might get the same result that every other parent and everything else gets. Are you with me? But I want something different. Amen. So I'm gonna read you James 3. We're gonna read from 13 to 8. It's five. Just five little scriptures here. Uh, 13 to 18, and this one I wanted to read in the New American Standard. That's why I do all my reading, but I wanted to present it to you this way as well. Who among you is wise? Great old. And understanding. Let him show by his good behavior. Let him show him. Let us show who wise is, who is wise by the way, by the fruit that he has, and his deeds in the gentleness of wisdom. Right? You know it comes from that fruit because gentleness is one of the fruit. So your behavior comes from a gentle place. Therefore, it's heavenly wisdom. If it's not, it's not. And then it says, but you, but if you have bitter jealousy. Oh, I looked up jealousy. I looked up jealousy because, you know, God is a jealous God. So I'm like, let me, let me see what this means. Eh? That's why they had to add the bitter part to it. Right? Because jealousy uh, is bubbling over, fervent, like a fervent prayer of a righteous man, right? It's that kind of jealousy. It's bubbling over, right? But this is bitter bubbling over, which is not good. Everybody say, not good. Not good. Oh, it's just so good to hear somebody. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. It says, bitter jealousy and selfish ambition in your heart. Do not be arrogant, because usually the people who have bitter jealousy and selfish ambition, most of the time they're arrogant. And it says, do not be arrogant, and so lie against the truth. Right? That's why you defend your lie. You get all bent out of shape. We've all been there. The good thing is to recognize it. Amen? And it says, this wisdom is not that which comes down from above, but it's earthly. Everybody say earthly. earthly. Natural. Everybody say natural. natural. Who is the word right here? Everybody say demonic. Because I need you to really understand that because a lot of times we don't like saying those words in church. It's like we don't want to use any words like demonic or hell, right? Because you're not fire or brimstone. <laughs> but they're real words in the Bible. Amen. I just wanted you to understand that that word is there. Right? So we're going to do this again. Uh, uh, this wisdom is not that which comes down from above, but it's what? Earthly. earthly. What else? Yeah. What else? Demonic. Man, so earthly wisdom is demonic. Let's keep going. For where jealousy and selfish ambition exist, there is disorder in every evil thing. And oh, it's always jacked up. 
You, your, your best thinking got you where it got you. I don't know about you, but it got me places I never wanted to go. And all, always the same places, just different, different locations, but they were the same kind of places. Amen? Okay. Um, but the wisdom from above. Ooh, come on, sounds like a romantic song. But the wisdom from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, reasonable, Ooh, man, full of mercy and good fruits, unwavering without hypocrisy. So it doesn't go to and fro, unwavering. It's the same, same thing, right? And the seed whose fruit is righteous, righteousness is sown in peace by those who make peace. I'm going to go real quick and I want to talk to you about this earthly wisdom. Remember in Proverbs 14, 12, it says, There's a way that seems right to a man, but at the end it leads to destruction, death, and some translations say hell. Right? Because most of those places hurt like hell. So, so understanding this earthly wisdom, what is it? It's many are living under human wisdom. And the thing is that they're paying the price for it. Right? I was thinking this morning of Psalms 1 when it says, Man, blessed is the man. Happy is the man. Come on. Happy is the man who hangs out with the wicked and gets counsel from the wicked? No. Uh, but y'all do that a lot. Come on, we've all done it. Have you ever went to somebody that's cheating on his wife and you start asking him for advice? No. <laughs> I have. Not now. But back then I did. Right? What well, you think I should do? His marriage is jacked up. How's he gonna, he's going to help you to get a jacked up marriage. You go ask somebody who's broke, what well, you think I should do with my money? <laughs> like, let's be real. You're going to wind up broke too. Right? You ask a dude that's angry all the time, angry all the time, you start hanging out with him, you get angry too, then you wonder why. Come on. Come on, you start living about, based upon how you feel, you start living a fleshy life. What's a fleshy approach? It's when you put feelings over God's revealed wisdom. That's what living fleshy is. When you put your feelings over God's revealed wisdom, which is his word. When you put your feelings over God's word, just got out the church house. Just got the church house. <laughs> look, at, look at GQ coming through. Look at, look at GQ coming through. Look at that. <laughs> he walking like me on the runway. <laughs> We're going to go eat. We're going to invite Kosi if he wants to come eat with us. Where are you taking me, baby? I'm going to eat now. You want to follow us? We go eat. All right, follow. Pastor Juan was on fire once again. I'm glad church is back open. Make sure y'all stay in y'all's word. I know that I myself need to find more time to read the Bible and like get a deeper relationship with God because I have a lot going on with the kids and the house. Yeah, it's just God so first, much. Baby. God comes first. So much going on in my life and sometimes. I feel like I don't even have time for myself, but I really do need to start putting more time aside for him. And I encourage y'all to do it too, but enough of that. We don't want to like just overwhelm y'all with it. Um, Let's go eat. I just want to say we love you. Like we really do. I really do love you. I don't know about Lucky. But I, I love everybody, bro. I love you. I, I love everybody. I love you for watching us, for supporting us, for being humble enough to sit here and watch our videos and, and you know hit the like button wink wink hit the like button <laughs> uh, and just showing us so much love and um yeah just want to send that out into the world and for y'all to hear that we love y'all and thank y'all so much i was talking to somebody outside of church right now waiting for kelly to come out he was telling me that uh that don't think he's like ain't nothing wrong with being on he was from the streets too and he got out of prison and now he's over here and he's saying don't think there's something wrong with you being over here ain't nothing wrong with being over here there ain't nothing weak about you being over here if anything it's make it stronger it takes a stronger man to stand up and say i'm walking with god than to say i'm a g i'm a gangster i'm a i'm this or i'm that you know what i'm saying i'm a street i'm a street dude 
it's easy for somebody to say that, especially on YouTube or on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? It's easy to say that. It's harder for somebody to say, I'm walking with God and I'm a man of God. So just remember that. If you if you're having trouble or if you're not too sure about getting off the fence and walking with God. Honestly though, I've got to say amen to that. It's the same way though. So I'm not judging nobody because I'm the same way. That's just... But just remember, it's easy to say you're a gangster or a street, but it's harder to say you're walking with God. That's the hardest thing to do. To stay away from the temptations of the world and the fleshly desires of the world. Remember that. And this is way more attractive than a guy out there in the streets, you know, banging a hood and, and a game. You're so attractive. You're so handsome. I love hearing my man preach about God or, you know, trying to get people to change their life around and just uplift people to be a more positive and live a more positive life so let's just not overwhelm y'all with it but again we love y'all let's go eat i don't even know if it's open it's sunday early it might not even be open but hopefully it is and i don't got no cash for the ballet so i don't know we might have to walk is it open is it open oh we're going to truth i don't know if it's open though there's papers on the wall. I know, there's papers on the wall. Well, we're going to Cyclones. You don't like Cyclones? I don't want Mexican. Aw, oh, babe, get you some ceviche. I just ate ceviche yesterday. Well, uh, I don't know what to tell you, sweetheart. What about Tommy Bahamas? It's that way. That's what you want? I'd rather that than Mexican. Cyclones ain't just Mexican. Cyclone and I is Mexican. They bring you chips and salsa. Man, cyclones go hard. So does Tommy Bahama. What are you gonna give him that? I'll figure it out when I get there. So we made it in the restaurant. You want to let them know where we're at? I wasn't even expecting to be here. See what happens when you get up and run early in the morning and you get your day going and start the events that lead up to your day? When I woke up this morning, I didn't think we were going to be sitting right here at this nice restaurant by the water. So you want to tell them where we're at? No. Nah. Secret <laughs> spot. Secret we're spot. We're at <laughs> Churrusco Steak and Seafood. And this is our view. Churrascos, churruscos. Now these are so good. But we're about to eat off the brunch menu and enjoy our lunch, brunch. We'll update y'all once we leave and I might show y'all what we're eating. I don't know. But we're gonna go get the kids after this. So yeah. I ordered you a waffle. You want waffle? Yes or no? Well, I went to the brunch section and I got me this steak and an omelet with chicken, spinach. What? It's so cool? Yeah. Wow. So my omelet has spinach and tomatoes and onions and cheese and chicken. I'm about to dig in. Thank you, Jesus, for another day. Thank you for this meal. Thank you for life, my children. What are you doing? <laughs> okay, I gotta go, you guys. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Very good, Easter. Mm -hmm. Shrimp, ceviche. We got all kind of, a little bit of everything. These empanadas, though. Dip it in there and... Voila. That is so good. These omelets though. Mm -hmm. Omelets fire. Talk about being stuffed. That was good. A good hearty meal. Now we're going to go pick up the rest of our clan. Go home and call it a day.
But y'all make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. We feel so blessed. We're almost at 100K. We're still working our way to it. And I can't wait. Hey, feeling good. Like I should.